Let's uh, now move from politics into healthcare. Uh, the healthcare unions have faulted the move by the Council of Governors to extend universal healthcare coverage staff contracts for three years under the same conditions. The unions say that the move is discriminatory and demoralizing. They want the 9,000 workers to be absorbed under permanent and pensionable terms to boost their morale. Nancy Okwari reports. Solidarity forever. Healthcare unions have strongly opposed the move by the Council of Governors to have the universal health coverage workers' contracts extended for three years under similar terms. The unions say they expected the over 800 members of staff hired during the COVID-19 pandemic given better terms under permanent and pensionable terms. The Minister of Health through the CS had declared to put these officers on permanent and pensionable. The act of the Council of Governors to untwist the national government to put these people on contract, which is against the existing laws and the fair practice, as has been provided in the ILO codes, which we subscribe to as a country, is not something that we can condone. The workers we are talking about are earning half of what the other workers who are on permanent and pensionable are running, yet these people are doing the same work under the same environment. They have termed the move by the Council of Governors as discriminatory. All the unions in the healthcare will march to Arambe House and remind the president of his promise. Will then again march to MOH and remind them of their promise. Then finally, we we'll love a much of our lives, a much to ensure that our rights as workers and the rights of Kenyans are upheld. We will call our colleagues to down the, the, the tools and we'll make procession in this city and we will bring everything on a standstill. It is high time the governors realize and stop valuing us in terms of money but the value healthcare workers in terms of service they offer to the people. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Ministry of Health, in collaboration with the University of Nairobi, has launched an online system to track drugs and treatment of patients within its facilities. We are working with the government of Kenya, who's developed the Avia Kenya uh, integrated health system, management system. And that system, we have now domiciled it here at the University of Nairobi. And that means that even the patients from here, when they are referred to some government hospitals which have applied this system, like Kenyatta National Referral Hospital, we are able, the doctors there are able to see them directly without asking for a file. They don't need to be told that some of your records in Kisumu, so I don't know what I can be able to give you. Adoption of digital health to ensure that we're delivering the highest quality standard of health care to our Kenyan is our mandate. Nancy Prime Edition.